One of the best parts about Element Time is that the scheduling tool and the time tracking tool interact with each other. So if I have a crew out on site doing work and that works on the schedule, even if it's not scheduled for that exact day, it's gonna ask the crew whether they completed the work and then it's gonna update my schedule to let me know that we did complete the work. So for instance, we're looking at a timesheet here where a crew is clocked into this school for snow plowing. And this snow plowing has been added to my schedule as some unscheduled work. When the crew leaves site to go to the next job, they're gonna mark in who it is and what they're doing on the next job and when they started. Now it's gonna ask me what we did at that site. So I'm gonna mark down that maybe we did a plow and maybe we also mark, put down uh, two tons of salt and the lot was all clear. Now it's gonna ask me whether we completed the plow or not. What it's doing here is detecting that you've got a visit on the schedule that's today or previous today that has not been marked yet as complete. And it tells my crew up here, don't mark the visits complete until the work is completely finished. That's gonna be an important part of your training. If for example, the crew just did some of the work but didn't get it to finish, then we don't want the marking as complete because then it's gonna show up that it got done. So only mark this if the work did get completely finished. In this case, we'll say it did. So I'm gonna hit plow, and then I'll hit confirm changes and save. Now what that's gonna do is update my daily whiteboard with a little check mark and update that scheduled visit as well to let us know that that job got completed on January 26th by the foreman that filled out the timesheet.